rainfall for months. Other European hey everyone, hope you're enjoying your Saturday. I know we are. Today is all about real estate. Have you thought about a career in real estate? Well, I have guests joining me who did think about that and who chose to come work for Dana Simmons Real Estate. And they're going to talk about that here in just a minute on KLBI, but we're also going to be on Facebook Live. So if you have questions and you're thinking about it, tune in and watch. We're also going to have a career night on September 15th. It'll be at our office. You can register on our website, which is danasimmonsrealestate.com. There is a place for you to go fill in your information. You can either come and join us live or you can do it via Zoom. So we'd love to answer any questions that you may have. So today I have Shannon Novak, who is one of our newest team members. We're so excited to have her. Lauren Camacho, who is a returning team member. She relocated out of the area, came back, and we're so happy to have her back. And then Katie Martin, our longtime listing agent here, uh, been doing real estate over 20 years, our veteran on the show today. So we hope you'll join us. We hope you'll call in and ask any questions that you have, 409-896-KLBI, and we're happy to answer them. So we'll see you here in just a bit. Your Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler. Well, hello, Southeast Texas. This is Dana Simmons, and I'm so excited that you are joining us here today. Let me just say we have some amazing guests on our show, and we're going to be talking about real estate as a career. If you've thought about it, if you're thinking, mm, you know, it sounds like fun. It's something I may want to do. Well, today I have three guests on my show. Shannon Novak, Hello. Lauren Camacho, Hi. and Katie Martin. And they're going to each talk about why they chose real estate and why they chose Dana Simmons Real Estate. So we're going to go through that here shortly. But at the top of the show, I always like to talk to you about how's the market because that is what we hear all of the time. Well, for many of us, we're pleasantly surprised that interest rates have not gone where we thought they may go. Um, this past week, interest rates hovered right in the five-ish, five-and-a-half-ish range. And so for most people, that's still a really good interest rate. The other side of it is we are still seeing a lot of activity. Um, Katie Martin is our listing agent on our team, and she is still seeing lots of offers, aren't you, Katie? Yeah, absolutely. We had a little weird lull right yep. around when school started, but this last week has been crazy yeah. again. So, I don't know. We're riding the wave. Absolutely. And that's the thing about real estate is it is that wave. I mean, you cannot, while we look at the past um, to see trends and what's going on, we can't predict the future, but of course it gives us an indication of what things are looking at. But staying on top of it um, every single week is critically important okay. as we're trying to figure this out. Now, I do know one of the things that we are seeing is some of the upper end price ranges are a little bit softer. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've been in a position last year where everything was selling no matter what price range it was. Right. So now we're having to be a lot more strategic about how we price properties and watch about every two to three weeks to make sure that we're in line with the market. Yeah. Um, because it, it's not what it even was three months ago. Um, so yeah, the upper price points I think are the ones that have been hit the hardest. Um, not to say that they're not selling, it just is taking us a little bit longer. Yeah, it's a, a little bit longer days on market and um, the the market is kind of uh, stabilizing right. in that price range as well. So, I mean, things are still good. That's the thing I want everyone to know is that the market is still a very good market. And while our inventory is increasing slightly, which is still a good thing, you know, we were in the two months of inventory for so very long, which is a very competitive market, a seller's market. We've moved over to three, a little over three months of inventory, which is getting a little bit closer to a um, just a stable market. And like Katie just said, it is depending on the price range too. So in some of those upper end price ranges, our debt, our number of months of inventory is a little bit higher than that, a little more even of a market. Right. It's important for us to watch the stats to make sure that we're on trend, like you were saying. Uh, but yeah, I would agree with everything you said. <laughs> and, and I think that's one of the things that 
we enjoy doing and that we do well is trying to stay on top of what's going on. It's not like just stick sign in the yard and okay, there's the prize. There really is a lot of um, reviewing the data, what's going on currently, and then updating that data as we go. So you've heard Katie talk in here just a little bit. She is the listing agent on Dana Simmons Real Estate Team. And so Katie, tell us just a little bit about you. Yeah, so I don't just do stats all the time. I also have a family. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have two beautiful little girls. One's a preteen, so continue to pray for me. <laughs> um, She's precious. She is precious. She gives great hugs too. Yes. Um, so I have two little girls and a husband. Um, shout out to RD Martin Electric. If anybody needs an electrician, he's the guy. He's the guy. Um, and then I'm really involved with my church and community and all that great stuff. So we had our first um, round with youth camp this year as volunteers. So that was a fun experience. Oh, I've been there. Oh, maybe many, yes. many times. Yeah, so um, just some great things. Yeah, and you you grew up in the area, Warren area, been here all I'm your a, life. I'm a country girl. Yeah. Yes, moved to the city the second I graduated. Uh -huh. The big city of Omaha. The big city, and I actually started in real estate two months after I graduated high school. Yeah, so I was 18. That mm -hmm. is uh, not typical, but we're going to talk a little bit more about that here in our next segment about what made you choose real estate and what pushed you in that direction right. and and how you've seen great success. Yeah. That's all about me. Uh-huh. And now we have Lauren Camacho, who is also a member. She's one of the buyer's agents on Dana Simmons' team. So tell us a little bit about you, Lauren. Um, yeah, so I was born and raised in Silsby. Grew up there my entire life. Graduated from Silsby. Um, got married to my husband about nine years ago. We have three small kids who um, we just had our first week of school this past week. So um, we're coming off of that, and it's been a little wild ride this week. You could say interesting. Interesting, <laughs> wild, you know, the same thing. But, oh, so um, much fun. It has been. Um, we, my husband's job moved us to, to the moved us to the Houston area about four years ago. We just came back, so we're here to stay. Yeah, and glad to have you back. Thanks. Uh, again, another country girl. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Can we you tell? Uh -huh. <laughs> we all have that little twang in our voice, don't we? Talking about another country girl, yes. we have Shannon Herod Novak. You're one of the newest team members, so tell us a little bit about you. I am. Um, I also grew up here in Southeast Texas, 44 years. Well, next month, 44 years. <laughs> <laughs> and Katie, I might have you beat. I grew up in Nome. It, I think it might be smaller than Warren. Mm. I might have you beat. We'll talk later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, between my husband and I, we have five children, ranging the age of almost 21 to 15 is our youngest. Um, we also have a dog that we got last year. It's kind of our baby. Of I was going to say, that's yeah. really your baby. Yes, he is. And yeah. he's probably the most spoiled out of everyone uh -huh. by far. And so adorable. Yes. Golden Doodle. Yes, Golden Doodle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you are still in the Hardin County area. And talk about the fact that um, before you, well, you know what? We're going to come back to talk about that because you have a pretty interesting um, transition on the career that you had before and then choosing to come into real estate. So that's what the the whole topic of, topic of our show is this morning, or this afternoon. It's, it's past noon, so it's no longer morning. Uh, so we're going to have a, a conversation about what does makes someone choose the real estate um, career? What is it that draws you to it? I'll tell you, a lot of people think, oh, I love to show houses. Yeah, that's very, part of it. Very small percentage yeah. of what we're doing. <laughs> that's exactly right. Um, there are a lot of other things that are very rewarding and wonderful about this career, but there are also challenging things. And so one of the things that we like to do is give you a full picture of what does that look like. Um, when we come back, we're going to talk to each of these ladies about what made them choose um, real estate. We're also going to talk about the fact that we are having a career night. For a lot of people, they don't know if it's what they want to do or not. And if this career night will give them the opportunity to ask questions. Um, we're going to give them a clear picture of every step of the way, what it looks like, what a position um, looks like. We have lots of different positions on our team that um, someone could choose. And so 
The Career Night is September 15th. If anyone is interested, they can go onto our website, danasimmonsrealestate.com or dsre.com, and you can register for that. It's going to be the 15th of September, 4.30 to 6.30. You can either choose to come in person at our office on 975 Interstate 10, or you can do a Zoom if you prefer to to do it that way. You do not have to be licensed if you want to attend this just to see if it's something that you want to do or not. It gives you the opportunity to hear if that's something you want to do in your uh, next phase of, of moving forward into getting a license. So we're excited to have a conversation with you today. If you have any questions that you want to ask these ladies, give us a call at 409-896-KLVI. They're going to be here all morning or all afternoon for the next hour and they can answer your calls. We're going to come back here shortly and let them start to tell you their stories. Don't go away. This is the Dana Simmons Show. Welcome back. This is Dana Simmons with the Dana Simmons Show. And today we are talking about a career in real estate. And if it's something that you've thought about doing or that you have someone that you think would be an amazing real estate agent. So what does it take to do that? How do you get into that position and why? Why would you move into that position? Um, in the last segment, we were talking to Katie Martin, Lauren Camacho, and Shannon Novak about you know, who they are, where they've been. Um, and then we ended with Shannon and we said she has a little bit of an interesting story about she had a phenomenal career in something else and then decided to change careers. And you had a long-term, really good career. And so, Shannon, let's talk to you a little bit about um, what you were doing or what it is that made you make the decision to say, I think I want to do something different and why real estate? Okay. Um, so I worked in healthcare for 20 years. I graduated from Lamar in 2001 and I immediately started my healthcare career. The first five years I was a therapist mm -hmm. and my last 16 years I was in outside sales. Mm -hmm. And you know, as you go through your career, sometimes you have those times where you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Oh, I'm kind of tired of this. And I had that a few times throughout my career, but I always was able to shake it off. Right. And then COVID. And we all know what that did to a lot of people, especially healthcare. Yeah. And throughout that, the feeling of, I don't want to be doing this anymore, did not go away. Yeah. And my husband said to me, quit. And I looked at him and said, really? Like, I can quit. And he said, well, gosh, so you were wildly successful. I was. Yeah. I was. Um, I was a single mom for 11 years. And my career blessed me to be able to be a mom and buy a home all by myself. And so it was rewarding, and I was blessed to have it. But as time went on, I knew it wasn't for me anymore. Right. And I couldn't shake that feeling that I needed to get out. I, yeah. I needed to move on. And, and there are seasons of life like that there where um, it, it's not like you're 20 years old anymore. No, nope. you not. know. And so making that decision um, as a little bit older person, not old, mm -hmm. <laughs> <Wise>. <laughs> you're far from old. She's wiser. wiser, Katie. That's good. I'm getting there. Yeah, I have a long um, way to go, but I'm getting there. But it's not easy. No, it's not. And 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 I didn't make the decision lightly. Yeah. So he told me, quit. So I'm like, okay. So I did. And I didn't do anything for six months. Mm -hmm. And I researched and I started thinking, what can I do? And as I spoke to family and I spoke to friends, they said, I think you could do real estate. I think you'd be really good at it. Mm -hmm. I thought, hmm, well, maybe. And so I started looking into it. And um, one of the first things I came across was that 87% of real estate agents fail in the first five years. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, that doesn't sound that good. <laughs> and so I thought, if I'm going to do this, I have to place myself in a position to not fail. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to be a part of that statistic in the next five years. I, I wasn't going to do it. I didn't know how to fail. Mm -hmm. So I started doing more research. I started talking to people in the industry, asking questions, listening, listening to their stories, listening to how they were successful or how they weren't. 
and three things stood out to me. One, lack of training. I found a lot of them had a lack of training. Two, lack of accountability. And the third one was lack of time. Time to really develop as an agent, develop in their career of real estate. They didn't have the time to do that. It was almost like they were thrown to the wolves, like, okay, here you go. Make it happen. And so I thought, that's why they failed. And I didn't want to do that. So, and throughout this whole process, I spoke to agents and I had brokers approach me and say, hey, why don't you come be a part of my team? And they really didn't know me. And I didn't know them. I thought, why would they just offer me that? They don't really know me. They don't know what I'm about. They don't know, you know, who I am as a person. And I was like, that's kind of odd. They would just automatically assume that I could fit their team. So fast forward a little bit and I knew someone that knew someone that knew Dana. And she called me and invited me into the, their office. You and I sat down. We spoke quite a while. You went over your story. I went over mine. And you talked about the core values of the Dana Simmons real estate team. You talked about expectations. You talked about how the program works to be a part of your team. And I thought, ooh, this, this could work. This, this really could be where I need to be. And I left that day and I called my husband. He said, well, how did it go? How did it go? And I said, I'm home. This is exactly where I need to be. I will be able to learn here. I will be able to grow here. And I will be able to succeed here. And that's what I've done so far. And in a very short amount of time, I've learned that it's not just about real estate. Even though I thought that's what it was going to be coming in, as I've met you and Ken and everyone else that's a part of the team, I've grown as a person and I've learned so many more things about myself other than real estate. And I'm extremely happy to be here and I'm blessed that you've invited me to be a part of this team and that everyone's welcomed me and yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, we're, we're so grateful that you're a part too. Um, I, I think you brought up a few things that are critically important um, and that make a difference. Um, you talked about training and you talked about accountability and you talked about time. You know, while in the beginning, many people say, yes, those are the things I want. We have hired agents who said that and then long term, honestly, it didn't work out. Mm -hmm because it's not really what they wanted. Mm -hmm. um, for us, training is critical. Um, in order for you to understand what you are doing and how to do it and how to do it well, it requires time, training, and accountability. Um, one of the things that uh, we're able to do with our newer agents is the showing partner model, which is what you're doing. And it gives you time to learn how to be an agent without jumping into it and immediately working with a new client. That's not good. <laughs> um, and so the training and the accountability and, and the time to learn is really critical. And those are the things at our office that I think are different. Um, a lot of people want to be an agent, but they don't want to be held accountable. Um, and, and that just doesn't work for us. And so I, I think that's part of our um, culture that we have is that accountability is super important. Um, and because we're a team and we all reflect each other. And so, uh, again, I think your conversation about what made you want to do it is exactly what we are looking for. And so uh, I'm so excited about, about you joining us and being a part of that. Um, one of the things that Shannon also mentioned is our culture. Um, Shannon, do you remember what the very first um, one of our core values is? Oh, no, I probably no. do not know the answer. Well, I'm going to tell you the answer. <laughs> it is that we believe God has a purpose for every single person. And we want his purpose fulfilled and not just ours. And so for us, that's critical. When, when I sit down and I visit with someone, um, it may look good on the world standards, but if it isn't what God wants you to do, and if it's not your purpose, then it's not what I want you to do. Mm -hmm. um, and so for us, that is critical. One of the things that, at our office that 
that we do is that, you know, we love Jesus and we're not ashamed of it. <laughs> um, and so we talk about it a lot and we share with one another and we pray for one another. And so that's a part of our culture. Now, while someone wouldn't have to be a Christian to work with us, they would have to be comfortable with the fact that we, a lot of us are, and, and we enjoy having those conversations together. So we're so excited, Shannon, about what the future holds for you. I see great things. I can't wait till next year this time for you to come and talk about how wildly successful you've been in this career just as if you were in your past career. So when we come back, we're now going to shift on over to Lauren Camacho, and she's going to talk a little bit about how she got into real estate, how she got started, and what her story looks like as well. This is Dana Simmons. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is Dana Simmons, and we are talking about a career in real estate. And we have guests on our show who have made the decision and chosen being a realtor as their career. We just finished visiting with Shannon Novak. She's one of our newest team members, and she talked about being in healthcare for 20 years, making the career change, and now getting into real estate and why she chose um, our team, the Dana Simmons real estate team. If you missed that, there are ways for you to go back and watch it. We'll have this on Facebook Live. It's going on now, but it'll be on our Facebook page. You can also check out the podcasts of any of the shows that we've done here on KLBI. Every Saturday, they get placed on the um, KLBI site, and you can go back and listen to any of those. So if there's anything specific you want to hear about, check them out. We also have them on our Dana Simmons Real Estate page. So you can go to our website and check that out. You know, it used to be really challenging. Dana Simmons Real Estate with the Y, right? But now you can go DSRE.com. Woohoo! We're so excited about that. And you don't have to spell the whole thing out. We were so thankful our emails got changed. <laughs> we are. Having to spell the whole thing out was challenging there for a little while. But we're um, also here with Lauren Camacho. And Lauren has a little bit of a different story because she was with us, went away, and then came back. So, Lauren, you had the opportunity. Um, you started with us at yes. our office, and you were a... Um, ISA, and then a listing coordinator. One of the things I love about our team is that we have so many different positions. In most companies, if you are a realtor, you're an independent contractor, you're it, and you're right. doing it all. Mm -hmm. Working with buyers, working with sellers, doing the marketing, capturing every lead, returning those calls, and that can be challenging. Yeah. But with us, you started out as an ISA, which was an inside service agent. Mm -hmm and then shifted to listing coordinator. So talk a little bit about that. So um, coming in as a new agent, you're right, it can be very scary, especially I had a two-year-old son at home, and I knew that I wanted to get into real estate just because I wanted a change of pace of things. I wanted something where it would be flexible for me to still be a mom, you know, and I'll never forget the day that I came to interview with you. I sat down, and um, at the end of it, I, I waited till the end of the interview to tell you because I kind of wanted to like win you over a little bit before I told you. But I was like, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you this, but I am six weeks pregnant with my second <laughs> child. And I was so worried that, you know, there's a lot of companies who don't want to hire someone who's pregnant because you have to take time off and things like that. And you looked at me and you said, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to build a family. And yeah. I was like, oh, perfect. This is it. Core so, value number two. Yes. So um, would have always come first. So yeah, yeah, so I started out as an ISA and then um, you guys moved me over to a listing coordinator and I loved that because it was an admin position. It was a little more stable for me and my family at the time. Um, and um, I loved working in the office, you know. I had Michelle, I had you, I had the rest of the agents and um, I loved it there. And then about Almost two years later, I think, my husband's job moved us to Houston, and I stayed in the real estate field, but working from home, and I've just never been someone who can just stay at home. I like to get out and 
socialize with people, but um, whenever we had the chance to come back, I thought, I wonder if I can go back to Dana's team. It's like, that's just where I'm supposed to be, because playing off a little bit about what Shannon said, I think that anyone that you ask in our office can tell you it's not just about real estate. You know, we do grow personally, spiritually, you know, not just in business. And so one of my, I guess one of my favorite things about the company is that it is family ran, you know, like you and Ken are married, you guys have grown your kids up into the company and everything. But when you come into the team, we're all family. It really is a family aspect. So when you say it's a family ran business, it is all of us. Right. So that's one of my favorite things of being on the team is, you know, on Wednesday when I had a really rough day with first day of school, I had people texting me all day, I'm praying for you and, you know, agents in the office just sitting down and talking to me and just making me feel better about the day. So it's just been really great. Yeah, and what an asset you are. I mean, you uh, you have those things that uh, we were talking about with Shannon in the last segment. You, you know, you desire, you're mm -hmm. teachable. You, you desire to learn. Um, you are okay with accountability. You're mm -hmm. like, make me accountable. Right. And so those are all things that do lead to success. I'll never forget when you went to Houston and you called me one day just going, there's no one over here like y'all. How do I do this? I know. So, the there challenge. Many times that I messaged you and I'm like, you have set the standard so high for what I want in a team, where I want to go to work, you know. And so, you know, like Shannon said, she knew she was home. And in many ways, when we moved back to town and I came back to the team, it was exactly like coming home in more ways than one. Yeah. And, and you're right, Lauren. It is, um, it is a family. Uh, we do have our, our you know, families that are our blood, but our work family, we're with our work family more than a lot of times our regular family because we, we spend the day there together. Right. Um, and and I'm, I'm to a fault sometimes, the mama. Um, <laughs> <laughs> one of our agents posted something on our message board and I immediately responded to something that was very mama-like and then I said, I'm sorry, that's the mama coming out in me. I can't help that. Oh, that's what we love about you. Yeah, I just, I mother all of you. And so... Uh, we do enjoy one another, we enjoy one another's company, and we do care about each other. Mm -hmm. When someone is sick or when someone is um, hurting, we're all there to lift each other up. And right. I think that's one of the benefits to being on a team. Mm -hmm. And it's not, you know, while well, we are family, but on the business side of it, we're all there to just kind of lift each other up. We just had a therapy Thursday session on Thursday where one of our agents was just kind of feeling down a little bit and we were just there to lift her up and you yeah. know tell her she's doing all the right things and you just kind of have to stay yeah. positive and all of that so it's just really good to have a really great support system and yeah all of that and the training too yeah. you know because that is one of the things that um that it is like Thursday is our goals mm -hmm. day and uh, Ken leads that, but often in looking at your goals, you have those business goals and we want to achieve those, but there are also life goals right? and family goals and spiritual goals mm -hmm. and, so, and physical goals. So it is the whole picture. Mm -hmm. It's not just focusing just on just the business, although focusing on the business is very important. It is. Your family life affects your business life and your business life affects your family life. So it's just... I think the main part is just having a great environment where you can thrive in, and then the rest just kind of comes. Yeah. And, and listen, Lauren, we, we won't gloss over it and say, oh, man, it's easy. Oh, because, no. you know, having three children at home and working, it can be challenging. Very. Yeah. But, but one of the things that is helpful, like, for instance, Shannon, as our showing partner, has been able to step in. Mm-hmm when you haven't been available. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so obviously, again, I have three kids. They're all small kids. The summer was rough when they're all home, you know, and so your kids come first. And so um, it's hard as a buyer's agent to make those appointments when your day can change at the blink of an eye. You know, the other day, my daughter locked the sitter out of the house. So, you know, <laughs> you kind of just have to drop everything and run. But um, 
Yeah, so I can just call Shannon, we can set up the appointments, and she can go show the buyers for us. And so we're still accommodating those buyers, but also being able to be a mom. <laughs> well, and, and that's the key, is we, we do want to make sure our clients are taken care of. Right. But you're right, family things happen. Mm -hmm. So being a team, it enables us to step in for one another and make sure the client is cared for yes. and gives them that opportunity. And she so, does a great job. Even with children, um, you can do real estate. So if you are thinking that might be something you want to do, our career night is September 15th. You can go on to the DSRE.com website and you can register. We'll have um, a live and in-person career night from 4.30 to 6.30. Or you can go ahead and register and we're going to do a Zoom as well. So if you'd like to get more information or ask any questions, we'll have all of our agents there to be able to give you that information. When we come back, we're going to have Katie Martin talk about why at, um, let's see, 18 years old. Uh, we won't talk about how many years ago that was. Uh, no, she chose. <laughs> it's over 20. Um, she chose real estate as her career, so don't go away. This is Dana Simmons with the Dana Simmons Show. Welcome back. This is Dana Simmons, and we are talking today about um, choosing a career in real estate. And we have visited with Shannon Novak, who is our newest team member. She's actually our showing partner and in training to be a buyer's agent. We have Lauren Camacho, who is our buyer's agent. And now we're going to talk to Katie Martin, who is our listing agent for the team. So, Katie, we learned in the very first segment that you started in real estate like how long before you graduated high school, right after the high school? Um, August, so two, three months. Two months. Mm -hmm. So right out of the gate, you're like, I want to do real estate. Why? Uh, the Lord put me there. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the choice. Yes, that yeah. was the choice. Um, now I was working as a temp um, at a, um, what is the word? Financial management firm, whatever that was. Um, someone was on pregnancy leave, so I was just organizing files and doing things like that. And then um, when the time was coming where she was coming back to work, um, a connection was made, and I joined a team at that point um, at Remax. So um, and then I, it just kind of snowballed from there. A uh, few months after that, I started practicing for my license, and the rest is history. Yeah. So over 20 years. Yeah, 23 years. Yeah. You've been doing this. And you've been with um, the team for four, four years. years. Four years. So, so why, after being wildly successful on your own and doing real estate um, very well, why did you choose to join a team? Yeah. And this why is, my team? Yes. This is a team like no other. For me and I've been multiple places so it's not like this is my first radio trying to figure this out um, <clears throat> but I would say adding on to what what they just said too is a big part of real estate besides the top three that make people fail I would say the fourth one is gonna be money yeah um, yeah if I would have had my dad there to help support me because I was young <laughs> right? I, was, yeah. I went to college for you know, about six months before I decided to really um, hone in. Um, but if he wasn't there to support me, I couldn't have done it either. You know, Katie, that is such a critical point. Um, one of the things that is really important is in the beginning, it is a challenge to be able to generate uh, any kind of income for a little while. Uh, if you are even right out of the gate, you get something under contract, it's 45 days mm -hmm. until you can get a paycheck. One of the things that we try to do to make sure that that happens um, a little more successfully is that we do have a showing partner model, and there is a very small um, uh, payment that gets made monthly to those people while they're in training if you're a showing partner, so that does help. But having some savings, if, yeah. if this is something that you think that you want to do, Having some savings in the bank is going to be critically important because if you don't, it does take a little while to start building that pipeline and generating some pretty good um, money to be able to, listen, this this career can make you a good living. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But it takes time mm -hmm. to build that pipeline, build your business, and be able to do it. It's just like any other business that you're in. When right. you start something new, 
and it takes a little while. Now, Katie, when we were talking about why did you come on our team, I'll never forget. I, I tell the story better. Okay, <laughs> you tell the story. You, you mm-hmm. tell the story. Oh, you tell the story. Yeah, so when, you know, your pastor tells you to kind of have your testimony ready at any point in time, I feel like Dana is a part of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I actually told my husband in January, um, because I had my own team. Um, I had three agents. I had two assistants. Everything was rocking and rolling, and it all fell apart. And I was like, I hate this. <laughs> you know, you get in a lull and you, you're like, what is the next step for me? Um, and I, help, I told my husband in January, I said, I wish I could just, I wish Dana Simmons would call me and I could be her listing agent. And Robert's like, what's a listing agent? <laughs> you know, because we don't do that in real estate at, at most companies. Um, yeah, it, it, it's not separated. It's right. not like you're only the listing agent, so that that's your specialty. Yeah, yeah. I think and we're I'm, the only ones who do that. Yeah, in the, in the area for sure. Yeah. And I love working with sellers, and that's also not a common thing for people to like to do in the real estate industry because it's more challenging. It is. You have to have a different type of personality, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, so, anyway, fast forward to only February. Mm-hmm. Dana Simmons called me. And I'll never forget because I was at Jason's Deli parking lot. And the second I answered the phone, I heard it was her and not her transaction coordinator. Because normally, you know, I'll talk, if we have a deal going on, I'll talk to the transaction coordinator. And I said, I know what you're going to ask me. And I just started bawling <laughs> in the parking lot. Um, so now you can continue uh, well, the story. <laughs> and we, I knew I needed a, a listing partner. I needed a listing agent on our team because our business was growing so fast and I knew I couldn't do it all on my own um, and and take care of the clients the way we, the expectation that we set. And there just wasn't anyone else that I wanted. Um, and so I had been praying about, you know, doing this and I had talked to Ken about it and he's like, no, she's never going to do that. Um, I'm throwing him under the bus here. Um, and we are actually, I was actually in the car on the way to Elena's because it was lunchtime. And just really felt like the Lord said, call Katie. And I'm like, now? Uh, okay. And so I called you with a little fear and trepidation in my heart, too, thinking she's going to she sound like it. throw me <laughs> under the bus and say, no, what the heck? Why would I come to work with you? Um, but then that conversation opened up, and then just like we do with most, we had a, a, a meeting with you and Robert, Ken and I did, and talked it through, and it was a wonderful fit, and you were such an asset to our team um, in what you do and how you do it. But Well, I do feel like that's how we all feel. You know? Like, we are an asset, and yes, to have that feeling at a new company especially is not something that normally happens. Um, so it took me a while to make the final decision, um, because that was a huge change for me and I'd always done it by myself and, you know, I spent so much money on marketing myself and getting the word out there and I was finally doing well with my own clients, um, financially. Um, so it was a huge decision for me. Yeah. Um, and I had a, a coach at the time, a business coach, and she was like, just be careful because, you know, people can promise you the world and then it doesn't happen. And um, anyway, I just ignored her in the end <laughs> and, and made the jump and never regretted it. Not one day. Well, we, we are um, so thrilled. And, and it was the, the right thing at the right time and the right moment. And um, I am so thankful because so many times that's exactly what happens. I mean, with each of you sitting here, it, it has been um, the right time, the right person at the right moment. And I think for people out there, if if that's something that you're unsure of, just like for each one of these, it's, you know, take the time to know, is this what I'm supposed to do? And I'm going to ask the right questions. It's just like what Shannon said. You you didn't just jump into it and go, yeah, this is what I'm going to do because, oh man, it's so much fun to show houses. But you have to look into what else does it take? Mm -hmm. Um, It is being available some nights and weekends. It is having the accountability of coming to training every single day of the week. Um, And not any other company requires that. We do. We require training every day. And so those are the things that are important that people find out. And I would just say, too, the opportunity is endless. And it's not, 
you by yourself figuring it out. Mm -hmm. It's like we try things, they don't work sometimes. Right. So we try new things and they work great. And then we start layering upon that. So um, it's just a great, I would say too, culture fit is a huge thing for us. Yes. Um, Dana didn't mention early, earlier, but after she meets with the person and then the person in their, um, someone important, important in their family, um, after that they meet with the team. And then the team ultimately gets the decision of, is this a good fit for our team? Um, and that can be intimidating sometimes to be in a room with 20 people and they're all staring at you while you tell them your life story. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it is important because we know if something happens down the line, we can support that person, um, you know, just ethically and all the things. So, Well, and, and you want to enjoy who you work with. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you do. It, it's you're there so much of the day that being somewhere that you enjoy now is it enjoyable every single day no I'm going to tell you there are days that I'm like yikes today's not fun <laughs> you know but that's just life in general that's work that's just the way things are but the larger percentage is man I love coming to work mm -hmm. I love seeing these people these are good people these are my people you know, I love being able to say these are my people. And I'll be completely honest, we break in the song a lot. <laughs> yeah. At least in the listing side. <laughs> yeah, well, you have a There's great a song, song for leader over there who makes up things as she goes all the time. And so it's, uh, for those of you who know our Rachel, uh, she is a great uh, vocalist and she loves making up songs. So she does a great job. <laughs> So if, if this is something after hearing us today that you're thinking, you know, maybe, maybe I want to look further into that. Um, we are having our career night on September 15th. It is from 4.30 to 6.30, and it's going to be at the Dana Simmons Real Estate Office. Um, and if you choose and you don't want to do it there in the office and you want to do it as a Zoom call, you can go online and register either way on dsre.com. It will give you the opportunity to input your information. That way we can make sure that we get you the information you need for either the Zoom call or to meet us in person. Uh, you can ask questions. It's going to be an opportunity for our team to share a little bit more about what we do and how we do it and why we do it because we are different. You know, Katie mentioned that. Lauren, you mentioned that, and so did you, Shannon, that we are not like every other company in Southeast Texas. We do things completely different than any other real estate office. So that may be a fit for you and it may not. Katie mentioned that culture is key for us. Um, wanting to make sure that we are a good fit is important. The team does get the final say. Yeah, there was one day I remember you telling me um, about why culture was so important. And you said, whenever someone calls me to, you know, they don't like something that the agent did or something. You said that you wanted to know that you can back them up without even having to go ask them what happened. Just mm -hmm. knowing what kind of person they are, where their heart is, and just knowing that they have the best intentions. Absolutely. And that is what I know about our team members. Each one um, is going to be working with all of their heart to do the right thing at all times. Right. Never have to even question that. So um, great point uh, that you brought up. Thank you, everyone. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for having us. I feel Shannon. like this was a wonderful powwow today. I Yay. know. It was a lot <laughs> Let's of Let's do some trust balls. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. You know, we have someone that can answer your calls um, from 8 to 8 every day. 409-866-8326 is our um, office number, or you can go on to dsre.com. I have a great day planned. It is my granddaughter Paige's birthday party today. She turned one yesterday. Happy so, birthday, Paige. Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, Paige. We're going to go celebrate with lots of strawberry stuff today. So um, I hope you guys have a great afternoon planned with your family and friends. And we wanted to say thank you for joining us. This has been the Dana Simmons Real Estate Show.